Uh, what is up, you guys? This is Max Mason747. I'm going to call this the 50 subscriber special, the belated 50 subscriber special, because I have now 71, which has now dropped down to like 969, sadly. Can we get those subs back up? Because I would like for you right now to subscribe right now, because I have a whole bunch of content for you to watch. And I'll probably link you down to another famous video of mine. So go down and watch that. Thank you very much. Now, this is going to be... Now, this is going to be a little bit of an experiment this time around. As I'm just going to be... Now, this is just a little rebuttal. <laughs> yeah, YMB Namir. Okay, you... All right, all right, but I, I don't like how this level is like starting out because you kind of got to tap extremely freaking fast just to get the LDM. I get why this is only rated. I feel bad for the guy who had worked extremely freaking hard on this, though. I do feel bad, though. I'm not even going to lie. I died at 50! Well, rip me. Rip me. All right, now, this video will be me stating my opinion on C1997. Yes, I. you said it. I said it. C1997. Now... C1997, as of lately, hasn't been truly the best. Wait a sec. Let me... Oh, this is so sweet. This level's sweet as hell. This level's sweet as hell. I think Viprin... Bro, Viprin played this. Viprin played this. I'm pretty sure Viprin played this, and yet this gets rated. This shit... Yeah, this only gets rated... Darn it, if only Rub Rub created a system, if only Rob Top created some sort of system where, okay, let me say this. This nigga Rob Top, bro, this nigga Rob Top should implement a thing where there is no lag. Something, nigga, like, lower the object count or some shit, like, automatically lower Rob objects, you know what I'm saying? With a press of a button, not just with our low detail bullshit, because, yeah, it's something created in 2.0. I, I get that. So Punch invented shit. Okay. Okay, I gotta quit that level. But still, that dude gotta start using way, way, way more things. Or code something. Code some shit to Guzzer. That says... No lag. That literally causes us no lag. And mobile players can actually play, and then I can actually play Maddox's levels. And actually have fun, but that's not gonna happen. But hey, it's only natural for stuff like this to happen, so whatever. Anyways, back on to C1997. Now, this guy C1997, now, as of lately, like, if you're on Google+, Plus and if you know the posts, some of the posts that have been made on him, he's pretty... I know people have stopped making posts about him, because, like... Some people unsubbed and just stopped talking about him in general, but I have seen a recent post on him talking about how he was reacting to, like, a diss track somebody made against him. And, like, these diss tracks in Geometry Ash have been going around um, between these famous Geometry Ash YouTubers. C1997, Star XD, and Amnesia. Yes. And they have been making diss tracks, and they have been, I would say that this is on, um, this is on, this is, uh, I would say it's interesting, but I feel like on C1997 size, when he started the diss track type of thing, he was trying to do it as a lighthearted thing. I feel like low-key, it was out of, like, I feel like low-key, he was on a, like, a hypocritical note. He kind of did take a hypocritical note for basically writing a diss track for somebody and then saying it's lighthearted when really it's not lighthearted at all. And 
Like, it's not really true because really, I feel like low-key, this dude is probably hurt by Cyrillic, but at the same time, he didn't want to, he didn't want to write, do a rant, apparently. So, he feel like, he feels like a diss track was the best way to do it, which I feel like, I don't know what to say about it, but whatever people said about it, it was bad. They were saying... Oh, man, the levels that this man has went to, man. But still, he has made rants about people he didn't like before. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I will blame C1997 for not being a little bit more professional with it because his channel's so professional. But apparently his channel, now nah, he just doesn't give a fuck. But the thing about it is, I wouldn't, I'm not really mad at him for making the diss track against Cyrillic at all. Even though he made one rant video on Cyrillic, cause so that is kind of a lie he that he told that that diss track he had on Cyrillic was was kind of lighthearted, but still, but still though I will I will forgive him for that as like sometimes we all fuck up sometimes you know we're not all perfect. And like this is basically like his first time he gotten himself into this kind of a pickle. So I'm not going to go ahead and just say fuck him automatically. I'll probably stay subbed. But I'm not going to be the one that just like kisses his arse and just is going to be like, oh, yeah, make that diss track, baby, or zaddy, whatever the fuck you want to say on some gay shit. But what I will do, what I will say. I tried to straight fly. I tried straight flying it. I tried straight flying that bad boy. And like what I will do is say criticize him on like how he's been doing in terms of like trying new things. I feel like he's not really necessarily funny. Like I, I get where he's trying to do or what he's trying to do. But I feel like what he's trying to do is just going to make him look cringy. And that people are not going to really like him too much for because looking at how serious of a channel he is. And looking at how, like, he looks at GD players in a more serious light, I feel like he shouldn't, he isn't really funny. Like, he did, does try his best to be funny. Like, on his diss track to Cyrillic, in my opinion, it was, it is funny in how cringy it was. It's cringe made it funny. And that is kind of sad, but at the same time, you gotta recognize that he put in some effort for... The, the thing he did, the, the thing, the, the diss track. But the dude, I'm sorry for C1997, but you are just straight up not funny. You are not funny, my friend. You're really not funny at all because I get what you're saying here and what you're doing here is like fart. It's all for like the, the fun and stuff, but I feel like you kind of need to step up your game. Now, I'm not saying stop at all. This is by all means criticism. But, like, I'm saying watch more comedy channels and more, like, more channels like Rice Gum. Or if you're trying to go to that level, I'm not saying this is the best route to go. But if you're trying to go that route, I say my recommendation, watch, watch people like Rice Gum. I'm Dante. Because um, that's one person I watch I'm actually sub to. Shout out to I'm Dante. And also watch Blasphemous HD as well. That's like my favorite YouTuber. And so maybe you can become funnier as a result of that. And I have become way funnier as a version, as a person, as a result of that. Well, I have made myself more amused as a result of watching more Blasphemous HD. But <laughs> well, still, maybe not. Fuck. Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay. Fuck you! I'm sorry whoever made this level, but still, if I said that. But but you offended me with, by killing me at 95% all of a sudden, okay? I'm just letting you know that right now. And by making me lose the bass in my sexy voice. I know that sounds egotistical. But I don't care. Because I can do it. And I can say that my voice is sexy. Okay?
I will get better as time goes on, okay? And the pauses will not be as long. And I won't have to say pause all the time because I'll sound like I'm trying <laughs> to mention that I'm saying a gay joke when I'm not. And I'm... And the minute goes on, and I just make myself sound a little bit more weirder. And I think that's all I want to say for the video. I'm just going to try and beat this level right here, and I think that's it. Now, um, now some other ideas I want to do. I want to... I want to do a video on Noctifly, to be honest. Like, if you want me to, to continue with this idea, just please comment down and down that you want me to continue with this. Now, it really isn't completely up to you that whether I do it or not. Just like you know here. I think you already know it. I think you already think about that all the time, but still. You obviously know it. But still, though, I'm just saying. I'm just going to say it because I feel like it. But I do feel like I want to continue this series and by doing another video by starting out with Noctifly. And I noticed, and on, and on another note, like I've seen the beef between Noctifly and several other people. Like people, he has settled the beef. Now, now Tosh Deluxe with his weird ass want to get into it. With his gay ass want to get into the shit. He want to start saying, this baguette, this little baguette. Like, I saw JM70's post, bro. I saw JM's. Shout out to you, bro. I'm sorry if I did not put the channel link in the description, bro. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. And I will put it in next time, okay? I will put it in. Now, this nigga right here, this nigga Tosh Deluxe, bro. This nigga Tosh Deluxe. He has the nerve to call... Bro, on some racist type of shit though. Like, like legit. This this little baguette. Like this dude, like all of a sudden, like he's on some racist type of shit. Decides to say, this little baguette. It's like, and I can tell this dude, something's off about this dude too. This dude is Fuck you! Brain silver! More like brain matter. More like dead brain matter. And why am I talking slow like this? <laughs> I've just been trying to project my voice lately and... Getting used to this is gonna take a while. And if I do this more often, then I'm going to have to risk, purposely risk waking up the neighbors and thus possibly ending my YouTube career as I got because they're going to be trying to force me to be quiet. And I feel like projecting my voice will be the best way of making my YouTube life better. I'm just kidding. My YouTube wife, <laughs> my you, my YouTube wife will not be determined by my power of my voice. It will be determined by the power of... <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop, though. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Oh! Okay, fuck yeah. We did it. Okay. That's enough talking. I didn't have talking. Fuck yeah. Okay, we did it. Nice. Alright, I think this is all I want to say for this video. My next video in this series, since it's called called GD YouTubers. I don't know what I'm going to call this series, but I'm going to call it something. I will call it something, okay? No. Because I have been inspired by my C1997. I'm not going to lie, even though he has been on some bullshit. He has been doing, he, he is still a good YouTuber. He's still decent. Because I am forgivable. I do, I am a little bit more forgiving with some YouTubers. So comment, like, subscribe. Give me up to 100 subscribers so I can have me a 100 subscriber special. This is the belated 50 subscriber special. As awkward and as weird as this turned out. 
I feel a whole bunch better projecting my voice and doing this because this is the way it should be. Yeah. All right. That's all I got to say for now.